Hello, viewers. Um, I was going to do this in my room on my phone again, but um, this happened. So I'm not sure if you can see that because it's dark, but it pretty much looks like a spider web. So that's um, not going to happen today. And so instead, I am back here in the uh, comfort of my uncomfortable chair in my messy study. Um, you're just going to have to put up with it until I can get a really good camera or my phone fix. I actually was going to get a camera but now I need to use that money to get my phone fixed so this is odd because I don't do reviews twice in one week because I don't read two books in one week but I did it it happened I finished Moon Over Soho by Ben Aronovich which I mentioned in my last video and is a sequel to Rivers of London by Ben Aronovich they're part of the Rivers of London series which is an urban fantasy series that sort of follows um, DC Grant. I think that's supposed to be PC Grant. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Police Constable, not Detective Constable. Anyway, I didn't write it, so give you a load on a few things first. First, urban fantasy. I have it on a handy little thing, because normally I look it up on my computer. Um, so Urban Fantasy describes a work which is set primarily in the real world and contains aspects of fantasy. Um, and these matters may involve the arrivals of alien races and the discovery of earthbound mythological creatures, coexistence between humans and paranormal beings, conflicts between humans and malicious paranormals, and subsequent changes to city management. That was taken straight from Wikipedia, so thank you Wikipedia for quick referencing. What this is, is magic! Everyone loves magic. Um, so, Rivers of London uh, centres around the adventures of Peter Grant, um, who following an unexpected encounter with a ghost is recruited into the small branch of the Metropolitan Police that deals with magic and the supernatural. And his um, first two cases are very different, but they're interrelated. I, I don't remember what they are because I read this like two years ago. And the reason I didn't read this one straight away was because I read the first chapter in this one, so I found I had to get into this one when I finally got back to it, because I was like, oh, I know this already. Um, anyway, so Moon Over Soho is what we're talking about today. Um, so following the events of this one, um, Peter Grant, who is an apprentice wizard um, in England, um, and a police officer, incidentally. He is called in to investigate the brutal murder of a journalist in the downstairs toilet of the Groucho Club, which apparently is very fancy. Um, and at the same time, he also decides to investigate a number of uh, seemingly natural but highly suspicious deaths of jazz musicians. Um, first off, this series is fantastic. Seriously, it's brilliant. It perfectly combines the two worlds of magic and policing and it you know it gives policing with magic a purpose and it's really well written it's um written from the perspective of Peter in first person so um you get all his thoughts you get his opinions um it's very it's filled with British humor and self-deprecation and sarcasm um yeah, so it's fantastic. You should read it. My favourite quote is something like, we were going to hug for a second, but then we remembered we were both British. Um, so yeah, so it, it's that sort of thing. It's very um, self-deprecating. And, and so sorry if the lighting's really bad. It's raining today. Um, so I can't really do anything about it. But Yeah, anyway, so back to this. Um, yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. Um, I give it five out of five stars, and I recommend that you read it. Starting with this one, of course. Sixth one comes out later this year, and I just started the third one last night because I finished this yesterday. Um, and then, what else was I going to say? But it's very adult. There is swearing, and there is sex, and there is some very um, gross, nauseating crime scenes, if you will. Um, so if you're que if you get queasy. Or if you're under a certain age, I'm going to say probably about 15. Like, I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't read. But I would say, you know, keep it away if you're, like, 
under 14, 15. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And I may or may not get a review done of Whispers Underground, which is the third one, because I don't really want to give away what happens in the books. Um, but I can't really talk about it until you know it happens in the book before. So um, I might just leave Whispers Underground and do a full series review after I've read uh, Broken Home... Broken Homes, Fox Rock of the Summer, and I think Hanging Tree is the sixth one that comes out. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, Twists and Turns. Tons of them. Fantastic. My only problem with it was that the chapters are too long because I have a really short attention span, but they're actually not that long. And the text is pretty big. See? Pretty big text. Um, so, yeah. So that was Moon of Soho. And... Um, if you have any, like, suggestions of urban fantasy for me to read, because I do love, 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 love this genre, um, you can leave them in the comments down below. Um, I have read half of the Model Instrument series and all of the Percy Jackson novels, including Heroes of Olympus, so um, don't recommend those, because I have read them. <laughs> um, and, yeah, so... I would recommend you read them too, actually, incidentally. Um, so yeah, so leave a comment below for Urban Fantasy or really any book you think I should read. Um, and check me out on Goodreads and Tumblr. Uh, I guess you can check me out on Twitter, but I don't really go on Twitter unless my phone breaks, like today. Um, yeah, bye.